It's really a beautiful day for us to be here on the rooftop of Madame Tussauds Museum, right in the heart of Hollywood. You know, the film rolled out in theaters today. It was a national theatrical release, which was very exciting as well. They had openings in LA and in New York. So I hope that a lot of your viewers and listeners and readers will go to the theaters in Manhattan, in Queens, in Beverly Hills. The turnout was terrific. So many people came out to the theater to see my father's life story and we we're really so honored by that. It's the Greek community that's made all of the difference because you know they've really rallied around the film and as a community said it's important for us to go to the theaters and to support a fellow Greek and for that we're truly grateful. Oh, it chronicles my father's life story coming from the island of Crete, coming here to the United States and obviously a lot of it is set in present day kind of a David and Goliath story the small family owned and operated company competing against all the corporate giants in the world and so you know earth friendly products is doing really really well and we're really grateful for everyone's support it's a universal issue the issue of green and that's what the film is about the importance of our planet preserving our planet and also the importance of our own personal health The real Van Vlahakis and Van Vlahakis on the big screen played by Ed Oros. Please tell us in a nutshell the story that we see in a green story, which is basically your life story. Well, basically it starts when I was seven years old during the German occupation. And it continues when I came to Chicago to become a student and, and study chemistry. And then through the years goes to uh, my later years when I am sick and uh, I still have to run the business with all the uh, problems that I had, which said is doing a great job. Uh, and the movie ends uh, with uh, me getting well and uh, going back again and do the things that I want to do, like play time with my granddaughter and taking my boat out in the ocean. Accents usually come very easy to me, but when you have to combine an accent, which is Greek and Chicago, that was a little difficult and a little tricky. So, you, you know, I had to really ch try and refine that. Other than that, you look at the guy and it's like, it's, it's like love all over again, you know what I mean? He's just like dad, father, you know, I mean, he's just like a solid human being and that's easy to tune into. Your story has a lot of obstacles and a lot of hardships. Um, you managed to pass through all. Which one you would say was the toughest one? Uh, the toughest one was the beginning uh, of my visit in America, where I didn't speak English, I had no money, and uh, I had to uh, do all kinds of jobs. Uh, stay in places that uh, I didn't really want to stay, but I had no choice. And um, try to learn the language and go to college. So the first year was the toughest one. It's absolutely a great honor to be portrayed by Shannon Elizabeth in the film. I'm really glad that the casting agents took a look at the life that Shannon herself leads. She's very green. I play Kelly Vlahakas basically in the movie, you know. Uh, she's such a big part of the story and the, the cleaning supply giant that they are, which is amazing. And uh, to be a part of something, to play a true character and to be a part of such something so meaningful was really great for it's me. It's wonderful to have someone on the big screen that in her own life off screen believes so much in the green movement and in doing what's right for our planet. Try to do recycling at home. and. Uh, I my next car is going to be more environmental. I haven't gotten a new car in like over 10 years. So now that there's hybrids, I'm going to go that direction. Um, just every little thing. I've always used green cleaning products. I try not to use any chemicals. I'm vegan. So I just try to lead a healthy lifestyle. Have you used Air Friendly since oh you Oh my gosh. I was using it before this movie. So I was ecstatic when she's saying, let me send you products. I'm like, please, these are the ones I use anyway. I love it. I thought it was an amazing story and you know my family we're all about going green and um, such you know activists and um, a advocate 
for helping our environment and you know making our world a better place. I'm so proud of this movie, number one, because it, what it really does, it makes it feels, it gives you a really gritty story about what it, it feels like to be a business person in America, but it also shows you that making a green, sustainable, responsible business is not easy. And Van has showed you how to do that. Van has paved the road for many companies and he's inspired us, he's allowed us, and he's, he's made us possible for companies like The Honest Company to exist. What values of that character have stayed with you now that the movie's over? It's the family. And, and to see how Van worked through all, all the adversity that he had to go through for his family. It wasn't an ego trip. It was like, I want to put this business together. I want to make sure my family is set. I want to make sure that they're secure. And he, he fought and he struggled with that. And that endurance is just unbelievable. Uh, going to see the movie, it will be educational, especially learning more about the green industry, the green products. We need to go more into the free energy of the sun, more into products that they are not toxic. And uh, I think that's the main, one of the main reasons I saw that the movie was made. Besides the fact, of course, that uh, uh, being an immigrant, a lot of Americans are immigrants, is, is not something bad. It's good for the United States, and I hope that this uh, present government will realize that immigrants are a very pa vital part of our country, and they should go ahead and make up this necessary law to make them legal.